Welcome back. So let's build the REST API. It's time. So I'm going to build it inside my solution compared to the actual tutorial where they build it from scratch. We already have a solution. So we're going to go here and say add and we're going to say new project. And from here we're going to use the ASP.NET Core Web Application. You can find that by going into Visual C Sharp and going into .NET Core and then picking ASP.NET Core Web Application. By the way, if you're using this, it's a lot easier to find your specific guys for the core setup like library and console that we already used, unit test if you want to start using that. So that is actually easier to find if you just select the install path out here. Good, I'll say okay, of course we need to name it. So I'll call this, because I used customer until now, I'm going to call it the customer REST API. But seriously, you need to give it, if you are making a rental company, maybe it's called the rental REST API. So you need to go up on a higher level when you name this. But right now it's a, I'm just making a customer app, so I'll call it customer REST API. I'll say okay. And it'll pop up with this second dialog, and here it'll ask what version of .NET Core, and of course we want to use 2.0. And then we select Web API, because that's what we're going to build. We're not going to make a web application, we're going to make a web API, a REST API. .NET just calls it Web API, but that really doesn't matter. We're not going to change the authentication right now, but you have different authentication types, and I think we're going to look at individual user accounts later on, but not right now. And then we're going to not enable Docker, shouldn't enable this guy, that's for uh, deployment, we're just going to use the local IIS right here. I'm going to say OK, and it's going to start up the application, it's going to build uh, a new project for me, and notice it has a different icon than the other projects. It has this kind of web globe thing right here that means that it's a web application of some kind. It just fixed the dependencies, grabbed all the NuGet packages it required, grabbed the SDK it requires to do this, and now we're actually ready to work with this. All we have to do next is pretty much just say this should be the startup project, so I'll right click this guy. Whoops. I'll right click, click this guy and say set as startup project. Doot, doot, doot. There we go. And now it's the startup project, so you see it's bold. And then I'll just launch the application by pressing our beautiful icon up here. It's saying IIS Express. You can pick Docker there as well if you selected the Docker support. Let's not get into that right now. It'll start up the service and it'll even start my browser where we'll try to locate the service and go into a first path right here. You'll see that in the tutorial as well. That's called localhost because right now we're running on our local machine. So that's kind of the name of the host you want to go to. The port on that host, and right now we're using a port called 52322. Now this is normally 80 on, on the web, so you, you shouldn't worry about a port. But because we were, we're working locally, we kind of open up for a specific port for our REST API. And then we're calling a specific route right here, the API values, which is going to point us down to a specific controller for a specific route. And I'll get back to that after we've installed this on the Mac. But this is all pretty much took. Now I have a REST API up and running. No, it's not connected to the database and the customers and everything yet. No, no, no. But it's a REST API and it's running. Ta-ta! That's all you have to do. It's so simple. So now we have the REST API. <clears throat> next couple of lessons, we're going to start to use it. See you next time.